All relationships have their ups and downs. But for China, it has always been a downer with Russia. China wants to have Russia on its side, but Vladimir Putin has different plans. Now, Russia has snubbed China for India. And Vladimir Putin has made no secret of the fact that while he was in Beijing, he treated Xi Jinping for the ragdoll that he is. Let me explain how. Hi and welcome. You're watching TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host, Atul Mishra. A visible Sino-Russian bonhomie was recently put on display by Vladimir Putin and Xi Jinping at the opening of the Beijing Winter Olympics. In a joint statement, Russia and China said that they oppose further enlargement of NATO and called on the organization to abandon its idealized Cold War approaches. This would suggest that Beijing and Moscow are best friends, right? Well, that is what the mainstream media wants you to believe and we at TFI Media do not want you to believe. The brass fact is that Vladimir Putin traveled to China recently only to humiliate China and its despotic president, Xi Jinping. There were no bonhomie. Rather, things went awfully bad for China. Observers within China now believe that Beijing suffered a series of setbacks in its dealings with Russia during President Putin's recent visit to Beijing. Here is how Vladimir Putin humiliated Xi Jinping and the CCP during his visit to China. Number one, Putin kept his visit to Beijing extremely short. Number two, Putin did not attend the lavish state banquet organized by Xi Jinping for all heads of the states that visited Beijing for the Winter Olympics opening ceremony. Number three, Putin was considered the most important guest in the opening ceremony of the Winter Olympics, yet the venue of Xi Jinping's meeting with Putin on February 4th was only at Diaotai State Guest House and not the Great Hall of the People. This either shows that China wanted to show Putin who the boss is or that Putin refused to meet Jinping at the Great Hall of the People, where the state banquet was held. Number four, Putin made it stunningly clear to Xi Jinping that Moscow's ties with India will always be prioritized over Russia's relations with China. Another important aspect of Vladimir Putin's visit to China was his commitment to India. He made it absolutely clear to the Chinese regime that Beijing should strive to better its ties with New Delhi, failing which there will not be much scope for friendly relations between Russia and China. According to joint statement of Russia and China released by state-owned Xinhua News Agency, Putin and Jinping pledged in the last paragraph that they would continue to cooperate within the framework of the China-Russia-India mechanism. Notice the intricate positioning of China-Russia-India. China has placed India after Russia, showing it places least important to its ties with New Delhi. But here's the catch. The joint statement published by the Kremlin used the expression that the two sides intend to develop cooperation within the Russia-India-China format. Compared with Xinhua's China-Russia-India mechanism framework, Russia put India before China. That really tells you how Putin's mission of showing China its place has been a roaring success. Going by how short Putin's visit was and how he chose not to attend the dinner hosted by Xi Jinping, it would not be an overstatement to suggest that Russia is displeased with China. It must be remembered that Russia has silently been working as a mediator between India and China. And yet Xi Jinping chose a PLA soldier involved in the violent Galwan Valley clash with India as a torch bearer of the Olympic flame. This was a blatant politicization of the Winter Olympics and was not received well by Moscow. After China pulled such a distasteful stunt, India announced a diplomatic boycott of the Beijing Winter Olympics. It described Beijing's decision to pick the PLA soldier as the Olympic torch bearer as regrettable. India had desisted from announcing a diplomatic boycott of the Beijing Winter Olympics as a courtesy to Moscow. Yet India was left with no choice after China decided to rope in politics to the games, ergo making Russia exacerbate over Beijing. From a Russian perspective, China is the spoiled sport. India was going to send a diplomatic representative anyway, but it was China who disregarded Putin's role as a mediator between New Delhi and Beijing. Therefore, during his visit to Beijing, Vladimir Putin snubbed Xi Jinping left, right and centre.